Hello, lovely friends. Welcome back to another video. Today, we're going to be talking about adjusting from the foundation. This is a really cool topic and it was one of my aha moments in the last month. So I would like to share that with you in this video. So stay tuned. <laughs> Thank you again for joining me for another daily video. I really love posting dailies and I hope you love it too. If you do, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and like the video, comment all your key takeaways. I love hearing what you guys learn from the videos, if anything. Um, we're going to be talking about adjusting from the foundation. And before we begin though, two days remain before the drop of the Ultimate Vegan Health and Weight Loss Bundle. I'm really excited for this. It's coming on Friday, February 3rd. The link will be in the description box of my videos during February 3rd and 12th and in my Instagram bio. So you can go click over there and check out the bundle because it's going to be amazing. I'm going to share way more details come February 3rd. So stay tuned. Friday is going to be an amazing day. I can't wait. I am releasing my brand new fully revised 52 to a new you raw vegan transition guide. It's over 200 pages and I've got lots of recipes in there and basically all the knowledge that I've accumulated over the last 20 years in the natural health industry, especially the last eight and a half on a raw vegan diet. So yeah, very excited for that. It's coming on Friday, but today I want to talk about adjusting from the foundation. So I have a friend named Angelica and I love her. She's a yoga teacher trainer. So she teaches people how to become a yoga teacher. She's got some amazing stuff and she's an incredible teacher. She's also going to be in the bundle. So you're going to want to check it out on Friday, but I did um, a private yoga lesson with her. And during that session, she was teaching about how you adjust from the foundation. You start with your feet, your grounded foundation. That's where you start from. Because when you're standing up in a pose, you might be worried about how your fingers are or which way your head is tilted, but you forget about the foundation, how you're standing your, how your feet are, how your toes are, all of the foundational parts need to be aligned properly first before you can start to align your core and then your upper and then your head and then your thoughts. Like you work from the bottom up. And when I was listening to that, I was like, that kind of gave me an aha moment. And I wanted to share it with all of you guys that it is like changing our diets. A lot of people, are overly worried about the little things like how much calcium they're getting or uh, if they're missing out on iron or whatever. They're worried about all these little things, but they're still eating processed foods and animal products and junk. Like they're so worried about these little things, but not working on the actual foundation of their daily consistent diet. So going back to the foundations, which would be eating plants, eating whole food, eating enough and eating low fat, appropriate amounts of fat for the body. These are the foundations that we need to fall back on. Not if it's all raw or all whatever, blah, blah, blah. All these things are, you know, adjusting your fingers, adjusting your head tilt and everything that comes later. We got to work on the foundation going vegan first and then adding more raw foods to your diet or tweaking, like maybe you noticed you didn't get enough calcium, so you're gonna eat more bok choy or what have you. Those things come later. Gotta get the foundation right and get it a habit that becomes your reality. And then from there, work on adjusting other things like adding more raw or like I said, eating more bok choy or adding the Brazil nut to your diet for selenium. Like all these little things you can worry about after you've got your foundation down. But again, the foundation itself is eating plants, eating them whole in their whole food form, eating enough and eating lower fat, appropriate amounts of fat. So we have to eat enough calories and also variety. That's another thing that should be in the foundation. I could actually add five points there. Eating plants in their whole food form, eating enough calories 
and enough variety and low fat. So those would be the five. You got to add the variety in there. Can't forget that. So those are the foundation, the foundational needs that we need to follow a much healthier diet. And then from there, you can tweak the little things and change little things here and there. And that's basically the basis of my 52 to new you ebook that is going to be dropping in the bundle on Friday. So two days before that's dropping, please go check that out because it's, I really put a lot into this ebook and it's really about building the foundation and understanding why we build the foundation. And then from there, once you have the foundation down, then you can do the little tweaks and change little things and add other habits and do that kind of stuff after you've created the foundation. So hopefully that ebook will really help some people out there by making slower changes and adding more things to their life that are beneficial for the long run for your overall health. But we really do have to work on the foundation of our diets and build that before we get into the little tweaks and stuff because we can overanalyze so much. We get into the like, does this is better than this, blah, 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 and all these little things without changing the foundation. That kind of stuff's great and everything, but it's not going to really make the biggest difference if you don't have that foundation in place. And it's also about doing one thing at a time, working slowly with where you're at instead of forcing like all these changes all at once start slow, start with the foundation, work up to the core, work up to your hands and your fingers and the way that they're pointed and your tilt, head tilt, work slowly, do it one thing at a time instead of trying to do all the changes all at once. Because for most of us, it's really challenging to do everything all at once. Like you're trying to try to fix your fingers while you're trying to fix your toes. Now focus on your toes and your feet first, get that down, get it down first before you move up because then you're gonna be a lot more solid and you're gonna be able to focus a lot more on the little tweaks better than if you were on an unstable foundation. These little tweaks aren't gonna really matter as much because you're, you're unstable. So gotta work on that foundation. And like I said, Angelica is amazing. She's a wonderful teacher. Her Instagram is at Yoga Liberty, so you can go check her out. She also has a TikTok, same name, and she's gonna be in the bundle. I can't say anymore. Shh. If you like this video, please click like. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and check out our eBooks. They're all 40% off right now. The code is rawfood40 and the link is in the description box below as well. Share your key takeaways. If there was an aha moment, I'd love to hear if you had one, um, post in the comments below. But until the next video, we've got another one coming tomorrow. I love you and fruit on.